What's going on YouTube? Today we're going to get into my portfolio, my Robinhood portfolio. Uh, we're going to go over all the stocks that's in it and uh, talk about it a little bit. Today's the 3rd of April. Let's get into it. Okay, we're back. And to the left of the screen, you'll see my Robinhood account. I'm up $5.77 today uh, with a total of $2,760.22. Um, just a little bit. It's all right. <clears throat> Let's dive into the portfolio. And the first one on the list is PSEC. Prospect Capital, it's at $6.58 today. Um, got 71 shares at an average cost of $6.84. So I'm down almost 4% total. Um, Prospect Capital is, I believe, a REIT. Um, you can always go on your Robinhood, look what your company is about. Um, Prospect Capital Corp is a business development company which engages in lending to and investing in private business. Um, it was founded April 13, 2004, headquartered in New York. You can read that if you want. Um, my main deal is they pay an 11% yield, um, which is good. And this is also a monthly dividend. So you'll get paid every month with PSEC, Prospect Capital. Uh, let's move on to the next one. Ford. Ford, Ford. Ford, we all know what the Blue Oval is. Um, they're an automotive, automotive manufacturer. Been around forever. Um, as you see, I got 55 shares. Actually, Ford is up today. Almost 2%. Um I got an average cost of $8.47, so I'm up 8%, a little over 8%. They pay over a 7% yield, which is really good for a company like Ford. Big company, big company. Um, of course, you can scroll down, check out the info on Ford. Most people know Ford, Blue Oval. Moving on. Next one is VGR Vector Group. They are in the tobacco business. Um, but the biggest thing, I don't support tobacco, but there's a business for everything, is the 15% yield in this company. Um, I got 50 shares, average cost of 11.16. I'm down over 4%. But I've already got a dividend payment of $16. So you could take that off that 24. Scroll down, you can look at their earnings. That's my buys. I actually bought three more shares yesterday with dividends um, about the company. They're, they're in tobacco, but they're also in real estate. So. They're found in 1980. Moving on. NRZ, New Residential Investment, which is a REIT. I own 27 shares, equity value of $450 right now. Um, average cost $16.82. I'm down a little bit, almost a percent. Um, let's get on to the dividend, dividend of 14%. So basically, I think the last time I looked, for every share you own in new residential, you will get 50 cents a share dividend, I believe. Um, it's rated 100% buy if you can go off of that. <laughs> uh, like I said, it's a REIT. You can go down, you can look at all the statistics, some news on it. Um, but yeah, moving on. Next one up is Macy's. I'm quite sure everybody knows about Macy's and how 
how retail is going. Um, I pretty much got in close to the bottom on this one. It's down 11 cents today. I got 20 shares. Um, I've already received a dividend from Macy's. Um, I want to say it was like seven bucks, seven dollars and fifty five cents to be exact. Um, I'm down almost a percent. But once again, that five point eight six nine dividend yield. Very nice. And hopefully I'm hoping that that Macy's is going to figure a way out of this retail hole. They've kind of dug themselves, but um, we'll see. There's news. Uh, let's click on the dividend. Dividend. Let's see if I was right. Seven dollars and fifty-five cents. Yep. Got paid the first of April, two days ago. Okay, moving on to the next one. TVIX, volatility product. Um, I basically get into TVIX as like a little insurance for my portfolio. I'm not sure if I'm doing this the right way, but I have a, a plan with this due to the high volatility of the market starting last year and has spread on to this year. Um, even though the market's doing really good right now, really good. Um, I'm going to have that just in case because I don't think this volatility is over with as well as many other analysts on CNBC. Although it is looking a lot more bullish lately, I will say that. But on this, I got 20 shares, equity value, a little over $500. And I'm just waiting on, if it happens, the market to, to drop significantly. And you know, there's talk of the recession 2020. So I'm kind of I'm like, I'm getting ready for that. Um, I'm down 8%. But just a few days ago, this was up 15%. So... It's all based on the market. When the market's doing bad, this is doing good. When the market's doing good, this is going down. So play it how you want to play it. I'm using that as insurance. But just understand, the market's doing good. This is going down. The market's doing bad. This is going up. Moving on. Next one is at and t they pay a very good dividend for what type of company they are. What market cap they are. Mega cap. As you can see right there. See that 230.32 billion market cap. Big company. A lot of good things with AT&T AT lately. Um, but mainly is that 7% yield. That's good. That's really good. Um, the company does have a lot of debt. They've taken on a lot of debt, um, but I think they're they're finding their way. I think they're finding their way. Don't take my advice, but do your own research on AT and T. Awesome company. Awesome dividend. Moving on. Next one is BP, British Petroleum. There's a fly flying around. Um, Sitting at forty four twenty one, two cents down today. I've got ten shares, four hundred forty two dollars. But the biggest thing, once again, with BP is that six point three nine five yield, dividend yield. And I wanted an all play, but I wanted an all play with the good dividend. Now most people are gonna go with Exxon, but I went with BP. And they've also already paid a dividend payment, and we can look at it. I think this was only when I had seven shares. Yeah, seven shares, four dollars and thirty-one cents. So, um, moving on. The next one is fun. Cedar Fair. Um, I got into them. When was it? Day before yesterday. 
Ah, yesterday. Um, but the main reason I got in them is because I wanted a little more diversity. And I also wanted that 7.6 dividend yield. Now, Cedar Fair does amusement parks, I believe, and water parks. I mean, you can read here if you want to check them out. Um, they've been around since 1983, so um, check them out. I, I, I looked into it. I know people like to have fun, and it looks like they have a lot of, a lot of parks, water parks, stuff like that, and a good dividend yield. Last one, Qualcomm. I like Qualcomm. I like Qualcomm because they're just about in every cell phone out there. Um, this is like my growth stock, but it does have a dividend of 3.3. So dividend yield of 3.3%. Not bad because I'm looking at this as growth. And if you can see, I'm already up 10% in this stock. Average cost 52.67. Today it's at 58.13. So I believe in Qualcomm. I know they got a bunch of legal issues, but they're in every cell phone just about out there. So to me, you can't go wrong with them, but that's just me. You do your own research. When did I get in them? Oh, and they've already paid a dividend. $5.58. And I believe that was on nine shares. Um, I sold one for something. I thought I, I think I wanted to put some money into another one. So I got rid of one share. And that's pretty much the portfolio for the 3rd of April, 2019. Um, if you like the video, subscribe, hit the bell. Um, I'm going to try and do a video, at least one or two videos a week, maybe more depending on how much free time I get. But, uh, thanks for watching and I will see you later.